I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. And this is Mr. Saltwater Tank, RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions, the show where I call it as I see it with products that I haven't seen before. Today, we're taking a look at the Cichet Shark Pro 900. And disclaimer, I have a little bit of history with a former version of this product, the Shark ADV. I talked about the Shark ADV about 10 plus years ago in my quarantine guide. And the Shark Pro is something totally different, totally new, something that's totally redesigned. So my first thought on this Shark Pro is, this looks like freshwater material. In a lot of ways, that's true. This product is really meant for freshwater, and there's some applications for saltwater where I see that this makes a lot of sense. The first one is, those of you that have all-in-one tanks, in the sense that it's just a glass box, there's no filtration in the back. This can handle the filtration, as you can put different types of media in here. Let me show you. So all of these little chambers here pop off, and they don't pop off that easy. I'm actually gonna take two hands, so those of you worried about this flying apart, not so. So they just pop off like this. You can put whatever you want in here. This bottom chamber has simple mechanical filtration. There's some foam pads in here. You can put phosphate media in here, carbon. So if you're looking for filtration in your all-in-one type tank, then this will get the job done. Now, let me put this disclaimer on there. Suchet says this is rated for a 70 gallon tank. Probably if you have a light bio load, I personally wouldn't run this as your main filtration for anything over 55 gallons, really 40 gallons to be safe. But again, it can work for that type of application. Second type of application I see where this makes sense is a quarantine tank like this one right behind here. A lot of times I use bio wheels, but that puts an opening at the top of the tank where fish can jump out and those things can get annoying. This is something that I can put right down into this tank and have it take the same use as the bio wheel filter without opening up the top of the tank where fish can get out. You can put different types of filtration in here. Say if you're running copper like I am at the moment on these guys, when you're done with that medication, add the activated carbon in here and then that's going to suck out your medication, or you can put the Cooper's orb right down in here and take it out. But in the meantime, if you just want mechanical filtration, because there's not a lot in quarantine tanks, you can have sponges in all these sections, and that will provide you the mechanical filtration that you need. Also, you can soak these sponges in your display tank sump, have them full of nitrifying bacteria when you need to start your quarantine tank, grab those sponges, put them down in the shark, and you're ready to go. Now, the shark will run with one, two, or three of these, so if you have a smaller quarantine tank, you can just put these in. If you have a larger one, you can run all three. You have a choice there. So it makes a lot of sense in a quarantine tank. Last place where I see this making sense in a saltwater type aquarium is down in your sump. Those of you that really like clean sumps, you want to have everything spotless, but you don't want to be vacuuming all the time, put this down in your sump, turn it on. It's going to circulate the water in your sump and pull the water in through the mechanical filtration and help pick up that detritus. It's got a directional nozzle that you can clip on here so you can push that water a certain direction to get it down in here. Okay, so that's how you use it in a saltwater tape application. What is this thing like to really use? Well, a couple things that I'm seeing here that I like. One, there's no suction cups to mount this thing to your tank or to your sump, which is great. Look, suction cups work okay, but they're hard to get off. If you get this in not the right place, you're like, I want to move it. You're like jerking on these suction cups, trying to get it off. This has a magnet that will work up to half inch glass or acrylic material. If that's what your sump is made of, it simply goes on here and it creates a bond between the shark and the glass. Now there's a catch to this. This connects to the shark with a magnet and then this magnet attaches to the outside of your sump. So there's actually two pieces to this one. This piece attaches like so. This stays in your sump. This goes on the outside of your sump. And this never has to come out of your sump because the shark is then just going to latch right onto that and stay there. So the magnet can actually stay here and then the shark goes away. There's an inside piece and an outside piece so this isn't going to fall down while you take the shark out for cleaning or for putting a different type of nozzle on. So I like that. So the head pops right off. Again, this isn't easy so I don't have to worry about this just falling off. So here's the head with the motor. Each of these pieces here are interlocking. Simply push it over here, 
and you can take it away. Now this thing can run with one, two, or three, maybe even more of these little sections so you can add all the filtration on these that you want. So that's super cool. And they have a little basket here that comes out. This has got activated carbon in it. There's a phosphate media. You can easily pop this open and clean this thing just like that, but it's secure enough that this media is gonna go flying everywhere. And if it does, it's gonna stay contained right here in this basket. So that is something that I like about this thing. Super simple to clean. The old Shark ADVs, you had to pop off a top, which wasn't that easy, especially when your hands are wet and you've been working in the tank. This just moves off to the side and you're ready to go. Again, I can scale this thing if I want. I can do one, two, or three of these things, maybe even more, and add all the mechanical filtration that you want. There's also an adjustable flow knob on the top, so if you're running a small tank and the max flow is too much for you, you can simply dial it down. So there you go. There's a first look at the Shark ADV Pro. Again, this is a freshwater type of product, but I see some great applications with keeping your sump clean. Those of you with all-in-one tanks, maybe some filtration, as well as quarantine tanks. Uh, home office, you're not getting this back. I'm keeping this, this bio oil filter, which I'm not a huge fan of because they don't always start reliably. It's coming out. This is going in my quarantine tank. Yeah, and it's C-shade built. I don't have any worry about this thing. It's just randomly quitting like the bio oil filters. I can trust this thing. I can sterilize this thing. I can scale it up or down for whatever I want in terms of size, as well as what kind of media I want in here. Something that's super useful. I may even pick up some more of these from other quarantine tanks. I dig it. 